Um, first of all, uh, Mama Misha, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to speak with you. We're in awe of your accomplishments. I think you're a true states person in Africa. Um, new faces, new voices. Uh, it's an organization spanning 15 countries uh, that you have started. What was the gap that you saw that uh, led you to feel that we needed this organization or this body uh, across Africa? There's very little space in which you see women in financial sector taking a center stage in the decision making. Whether it's uh, ministers of finance, whether it is uh, uh, central banks, whether it is the major banks on the continent, there's very little facing voice of women. Yet, we know that women are the biggest business community you can find. Not necessarily in the formal sector, but in the, in the informal sector, they deal with business every single day. Yet, there's no connection also between the informal and the formal. So New Faces, New Voices, Women in Finance, it is aiming at, one, to develop uh, mechanisms together with financial institutions where women will grow, will occupy significant positions within the financial sector, out of merit out of expertise, out of experience. We are not asking for them to sit there just for the sake of having women. It's because we recognize that there are hundreds and thousands of them who have the knowledge, who have the expertise, who have the experience. They would bring into the decision-making perspectives from women which would allow these financial institutions to effectively meet the aspirations of half the population of our nations. In that process, they continue to make money, but at the same time, they serve a huge number of people, and they put resources into their hands in a way they will grow their business and even they will manage better their families. So the nation will gain, the economy will gain, women will gain, and financial institutions will make a huge amount of money. So it's a business case. It's a business case we're making. The other uh, gap we have seen is that in our conversation with financial institutions, they never, many of them, they have never taken the time to listen to women so that they can shape their products, financial products, to meet the most important things which matter to women and the way how they would like to be served by financial institutions. So New Faces, New Voices is having this dialogue with financial institutions. Look inwards in terms of leadership. Look, in, look inwards in terms of the products you offer. And we open the space as the network, the space for them to interact with women. We actually, in some cases, we undertake research so that we bring the voices of women into the financial sector for them to reshape them the products to meet the needs and priorities of women. This is what we decided to do because they, to our knowledge, there's no one uh, network which was doing this, this before. We uh, established also uh, women in agribusiness. Not that they don't exist. They do exist, many organizations in agribusiness. What happens is they are those who are very successful who are at the top, but there are millions who are struggling mm. and they are 
in cycle actually they don't get out of the level of subsistence and we say agriculture is business which can put food on the table of every woman mm -hmm. but also allow her to make money and to have uh, money in her bank account so agribusiness network is to uplift that majority of the millions who are in agricultural subsistence connect them with those who are in the formal agribusiness to learn the lessons so that we close this gap we close mm -hmm. this gap but more importantly it's also important to remember that if african women are the main producer of food either we change the way women do produce food then we will not close the gap of the more than 200 million africans who go to bed hungry so there's a business case there's a social case but there is also more importantly this ability of empowering women to do things in modern term, terms using the technology which exists and if it doesn't exist then we should invent it for them because innovation is there we should invent the tools which women need really to continue to produce but produce more mm -hmm. working less and having much more profit that's women in business I mean, in agribusiness. Mm -hmm. But we are thinking also of establishing, uh, we are working actually in establishing a network of uh, African women in the media. We want to contribute to portray the real face of African women. These very brilliant minds which exist in all sectors. They are creative, they are business women, they are academics, they are scientists. They are journalists like you. They are doctors. They are engineers. They are everywhere. But the image of African women which comes in the media is uh, to show they are refugees and is to say how many are dying, but there are many, many millions who are not dying, okay? It's to show women as only beautiful, we want to be beautiful, we will continue to be beautiful, but we are much more than beautiful. What counts in us is what is in our creative minds, it's what it is in our hearts. It's how we really are transforming the world, we are transforming our continent, we are transforming our families. And this is exactly what women in media are aiming at, is to bring the real dynamic and vibrant face of uh, the African women. This really is an all-encompassing woman, uh, you know, looking at her from a business point of view, from a social point of view, from an individual and a personal point of view. In the week that you have been here, quite a lot has been accomplished by new faces and new voices. Uh, tell us some of the things that have happened during the course of this week. You know, I'm so proud of them. Very, very proud of these young ladies. First, they showed one important thing, is that uh, they are not only successful in their own personal capacity as business women, but they are very sharp and very smart in way of how do they conquer the center stage. Mm -hmm. And they went their way to devise a space of conversation with the chairpersons of boards and to question them but also offering not only to question but offering ways of do you want to to know where and who are the women who can be in your board we are here we can help you do you know how much are you going to gain if you have at least, Mackenzie has produced a report which is at least a third of your board, if they are women, companies, they double, I mean, they are very, very, very successful. Mm -hmm. For your company to succeed, 
do you know that if you have women in your world, this is going to help you? A dialogue, constructive, not attacking, mm -hmm. offering, listening, taking into account also the concerns of the chairpersons of the board. Now, they build a relationship of mutual respect. Chairs of important boards in this, in this, in a robot list. They know they have a pattern in your faces, in your voices. And we are talking, especially as we speak, on the financial sector, because we want to contribute to transform the financial sector. But it, interesting enough also is that this, this, this young lady, are, as always, but they, they have been very strategic in the way they have uh, chosen the partners. It's not partners, but they select very carefully institutions which will bring a sort of multiplying effect. So it's not just to say, oh, we have lots of partners. They don't talk of lots of partners. They're very sharp and very smart in the way they're doing their job. So my visit this time actually it was one, to come and do. And so if you, come, if you ask me what I have accomplished, I learned a lot from them. I learned a lot from the multiple of stakeholders we have been in contact with. But I also take a lot of uh, food for thought because this is a network which is a Pan-African network it is in 15 African countries. So I'm taking ideas of uh, how this can influence other national chapters and also how some of the national chapters can influence Kenyan, Kenyan ch chapter to do even more. So I, 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 I take a lot of uh, food for thought. It, was, it has been a week which uh, more than any, anything else has enriched me and to help me to think better on uh, the way forward. And finally, um, Mama, in 10 years' time, where would you see the place of new faces, new voices in particular, and of women in Africa generally? I want to talk of women in Africa in general. I'll talk of where in 10 years' time, in ten, years. in ten years time, new faces, new voices? Ah, oh. <laughs> definitely in ten years time there will not be any African financial institutions which will not know of us. There will not be any African financial institutions who will not have a voice in. It's not only to know of us, mm. but to have, we have a voice of influence and a voice which is to accelerate change. In 10 years time, through the work of New Faces, New Voices, we will be able to measure. At that time, we will not be talking over only thousands. It will be at least hundreds of thousands of women we have helped one to bring into the former financial system Second, maybe thousands we have helped to move from the small to the medium. And some hundreds who will have moved from the medium to big business. Providing not only access to financial resources, but also training which allows them to make their, 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 business, their business grow. In 10 years' time, I hope we'll have much more women who are investors. Not only just to be, but they are big investors, running funds which are investors here and there. That's our, our, our hope, is that uh, to take really the financial system from inside to influence it, but to bring the visibility of the capacity and the creativity of women through a multiple, a multiple kind of initiatives 
which women will be mm -hmm. engaged in, and that's why we say it's multiplying faces and amplifying voices. In 10 years' time, people will be hearing, and we will not allow them to make decisions about us without us. And in 10 years' time, you will have much more faces of women leading effectively business in which we will know we had a contribution because we removed together the structural obstacles and removing these obstacles we have opened the avenue for many more to come. Ten years it's not a lot of time but it's time enough to effect some change and take my my word. It doesn't mean that I will be there. I'm saying the girls will do it. I trust them. They will do it. Multiplying faces and amplifying, amplifying voices. voices. That's our movement. And that's new faces, new voices. New faces is one of them, but in a larger movement, exactly which is exactly to multiply faces and amplify voices of African Mama Gracia, thank you so much thank for you. your time. Thank you. Much thank you. Thank you.